Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I really want to keep it a bit, the most a bit possible, if possible. But I have to admit that I am sitting here with a Lime Blossom Double Tea. Here it's called Tila. You know, there is so much one can handle. I don't know how to even start to make sense to all that I want to communicate and I think that this would take a long long time but first and foremost I really want to thank you to you guys the ones that really gave support to my love video a couple of Saturdays ago I really heard you you know and it's good to know that there's always someone out there and whatnot but yeah it's not like first world it's not like first world problems at all. It's problems that it's not like, yeah, that everyone, I think pretty much everyone, unless you're the luckiest person around, goes through in life. And this problem is loss and saying goodbyes. And how do you cope with this? Well, I don't know if you know, I mean, if you follow me on Tumblr, which is elena2.tumblr.com, I haven't posted in a long time, but I was really up there. You know, you can really check the archives and it's got a lot of story of my life. And if I want to, I can really tell you the story of my life. But, you know, I have my fair share. I have had my fair share with goodbyes. And in all the years, you know, ever since I exist, I, I remember saying more goodbyes then hellos so I am big on goodbyes not like I enjoy it at all but I have been having to deal with many goodbyes throughout my my life and you know you stumble not all not all the goodbyes are sad or bittersweet ones but it's always you know like it's really hard for me because I I am one okay I'm, I'm just gonna say it like it is I am one I, I have to two budgies, you know, here at home, and I had a bunny rabbit, and I spoke to her, you know, Kaoru, and I had these budgies, and I speak to them, and I, I speak to animals, you know, and I don't treat them like they're less than or anything, so yeah, I speak my mind to them, I have never gotten an answer from them, but maybe they get the gist, I don't know, anyway, so there I am, earlier this week, and I was having my daily walk with uh, Foxy and I was telling her you know because this week I couldn't hit the gym because I've been with the flu and whatnot so there's that and I I I'm having this back injuries that I will make a video because I think I'm gonna get knee surgery and I'm scared to death but other than that and so I couldn't go to the gym so I went to a daily walk instead and I was talking to Foxy because they recently adopted Flash. You know, Foxy and Flash are the couple of fluff balls that I read. I, I, I volunteered to the shelter, did you know already? And that I raised ever since they were born and sadly abandoned. So I took them, you know, under my wing and I tried, you know, me being me, I am not uh, your conventional person, so I even my teaching things are not conventional. I think it's all very natural with me. It's all very organic, but not so. I really there 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 are lots of dogs in there, but you know you have to pick few. So I decided that I could really work with them. Also with Soda, which she's the one that we had to go and rescue. I told you last week. Oh my god, because she has anxiety and she needs a lot of patience and whatnot, but she is, she's not a puppy no more, she, she's a grown-up dog. Okay, so, so I took them under my wing and, you know, each animal has its own personality and Flash, he is this really strong male, like they are both, they are both like seven, eight months now. And they have gotten big. Like Foxy is the size of a German Shepherd and Flash it's a little bit less, it's a little bit smaller than that but almost that same size. So they've gotten pre pretty big. But Flash being, a, I don't know if it's because he's a male or whatnot, but he got really strong to the point that, you know, well, 
it was really hard so I had to get this halty harness and it was like okay like I really have to work with you guys and I really started to work with them and time went by and for some reason they are just two really cute puppies that would nobody would adopt because they are not pure breed so I thought Soon enough, hopefully, I will change my life. You know, I am at a at a turning point in my life, and if things start working my way, I am going to adopt them both. But for now, I cannot adopt them because you know what you see is what I have: this bedroom, nothing else. So, a couple of weeks ago, fast forward. Of course, the shelter has an online page, and they're on Facebook and every social media. And out of the blue, you know, on Saturday afternoon, you know, I just had lunch and I got home and I was going to, you know, get changed and go on a hike with Flash, you know, because because I alternated one day Flash, one day Foxy, sometimes the two of them, but since I have my back injured, I just took one at a time because I couldn't handle them both and whatnot, so yeah. And I read this message from the girls that also volunteer them that, in an hour, they were taking him away. Like he was getting, he was being adopted. And it was like crazy times because first things, it's not like instant adoption, just like that. It's just almost all the time, what they do is they send dog as a foster home to the ones that are interested. And if it all works out and the dog adapts well and they end up decided that they want to adopt him, they end up adopt him adopting the dog not earlier than a month before after the the after the fostering process but there were it was these people that they were coming from 5 hours away so so they were really interested in the dog and they they just signed the papers uh sent him away and so sorry for that and they send the signed the papers sent him away so i see the message and I changed so fast and I went there and I had, I, I couldn't stop crying. Like I couldn't stop crying. And I said my goodbyes, you know, we played with the stick, we ran, we did everything, you know, we had just half an hour. So I had to go real fast and it was like a shot and he was gone. And we always had this uh, bond with Flash and Foxy. We always have, but even though I have a bond, I had a bond with Flash, I have a huge, I had a huge bond with Foxy because Foxy has the same personality that I do, so I could really relate to her. Like there are some people, some volunteers in there in there were like, it's so hard to work with her, you know, she's so stubborn, but she's so clever at the same time, she, like come on i was gonna curse like come on you show her this but she's so clever it's not like she's stupid that she doesn't learn to do the things she's she she sure understands what she's been told to just that she has her own personality and she will work at her own time and she does it twice as good as every other dog but you know don't pressure foxy but yeah okay so there I am, and I was walking, this is all the rambling, it's, you know, I'm all over the place because, you know, yeah, I need to calm down. So, yeah, I was telling Foxy, you know, you have to be strong, and even though it's sad that we have to say our goodbyes to our beloved ones, even, even every now and then and whatnot, and even though life might take us on different paths, and we might come across each other at some time or, or we might not encounter each other at all. We still, and I told her, like, quote unquote, we have to, you know, the oldest story in the book, but it was, was like, you know, we have to uh, learn from the bad memories and experience in order so it doesn't get repeated or whatnot. And the people that have done bad things to us, we have to learn from that just so we can learn to avoid similar situations in life if they come our way. Let's hope not, but you know, let's be real. And we have to be thankful for the people and situations and good things that happen to us and not be sad because they are gone. 
but being happy because we have met them or whatever, you know, because they have happened to us. Be happy and thankful for that. And this sounds like really casual and whatnot, but I know for my own experience that it's really hard. You know, saying goodbyes to the things that hurt, they really leave a mark on you. It's really and it's really hard to overcome them. But saying goodbye to the loved ones, it's twice as hard because of course nobody wants to ever be pulled apart, you know, separated from the ones you love. You know, you would like to be able to share a life with them forever. But at the same time, there's times where you have to be realistic and think that life brings us so many different ways and we have to be happy and thankful that we share these times with them. And I called one girl who is in charge and I told her, look, I got this couple of callers, this, I, I got this couple of uh, repellent and, and, you know, I got this couple of flea things, anti-flea things and whatever. And I am gonna sure put one to Sora. And you know, I was thinking since we go on a hike with Foxy almost on daily now, you know, because Flash has been adopted. Uh, what do you think if I put the color on Foxy or anything? And if you think that I should put it on some other dog that might need it first, please let me know. So I just put one on Sora for sure, so gets so she gets to get rid of the fleas and one on other, some other dog that might need it or whatever. And she was like, oh, it's just fine. You can just uh, put it to Foxy because you know, you go to the countryside on daily. It's gotta be just fine, just like that. Real cool. And I woke up and I see this message, a private message from this girl, same girl. And she was like, so here comes the hurtful part. The one that I'm really, hurting right now and it, and I'm cooler because I have had my fair share of this like I have had like six bags of this this for now so yeah cheers I open my eyes and I see the private message message from her telling me you know so this afternoon they're adopting Foxy and I was like what what and I sent her a, mes a message like, how so? And she was like, yeah, there's this girl that she's been talking to us for a little bit. And she was really hesitating between, between this dog and Foxy. And uh, this past week she decided on Foxy, but she couldn't come. So she decided that she would come this week. And, just, and I got so upset, you know, because it was like, these girls who are in charge, you know, because I just volunteer there are so shady like they know like I work consistently with Foxy and I would adopt her if I could so don't take her away from me just like that you know and on top of that I know she's not mine to keep but you know given the fact that I am the main caretaker of her you know the only one it would be kind of nice you know to tell me you know, we have found someone who is interested in her. Maybe you can give um, give us some hints on how she should be taken care of, what she, how she reacts to things. We're thinking of that. How do you think she would respond to this person, this profile, whatnot? You know, communicating with the trainer, but they didn't at all. So I was like, oh my God, here we go again. And I started crying, you know, like uh, I was crying my eyeballs out and I got dressed and I, I wasn't planning to go to the shelter, but I went to the shelter and I decided, look, I cannot have another goodbye like the one I had with Flash because it's really, it's not fair for the animal because he really saw me really feeling real bad, you know, crying my eyeballs out all the time. And the animal was like, huh, what? I, I bet he was sensing. But today, Foxy, she's really clever. But I decided that I should be more clever than her and not show any emotion, just be casual as every other day. And I decided to put 
on a smile on my face and have a happy goodbye instead of a sad goodbye. Even though my tears were really, you know, and the cor my tears were, were filling my eyes, I was really holding them and whatnot. And yeah, we went for a hike and we, we did the usual, we had quite a good hike actually. And a little tear came into my eyes and she started crying and I think she really sensed that that was not a goodbye, see you tomorrow, that that, that was a goodbye, you know? And it's been really hard for me and I've been feeling real bad ever since because I think man if I had the means to take her we wouldn't we wouldn't be saying goodbye at all and lately it's like a big slap into my face you know another one and everything you know I it, a month ago I had it all together you know, for the longest time, I didn't have anything at all. You know, my life was a turmoil. And then all the pieces of the puzzle started to make some sense, started falling together and grouping together. And it was all good. And then, I don't know what happened, but it all started going downhill. And I have been, you know, seeing my all my plans going, getting ruined one after the other after the other and you wake up you know almost every single day having to reinvent yourself so and it's like that you know like i have to prove myself time and again day after day after day but sometimes i think that it would be fair that in all the heartbreak and the losses and the goodbyes you got a little happiness and a little and a little heartwarming experience and a little hello I'm here to say with you you know in the middle because you know I so want to get rid of this dark cloud that wants to keep on following me and I keep on pushing it away and whatnot I think that I don't know if you have sensed it but this past month it's getting really hard for me to make videos maybe I'm not as cheerful and it's because all of this I sure keep to try to keep my best to do my best to keep a straight face but yeah I'm not hiking filming this or whatever but it's a health news and the you know we're taking Foxy away from you on top of Flash and on top of Love Life and on top of relatives and on top of someone who passed away and we're taking all these loved ones away from you and you still have to be resilient and keep on moving forward and keep on going but it's like come on give me a break please give me a break give me a break give me a share my good share of love because I think like everyone around Everyone deserves some love and I think it's my time to start receiving what I've been giving, you know, to the universe. So <sighs> this is my stream of consciousness it's for today. To all of you, please cherish the moments that you have with the ones you love because you never know when they are going away and you might never come across them whatever the reason of their departure might be so cherish those time with your loved ones and have a great weekend see you in the next one bye